Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel again. So today's is actually going to be uh, another easy one, pendant wash. If you remember actually in one of my previous pendant wash I had mentioned that the next one is actually going to be a little bit focused on uh, perspective. So when I say perspective, it's one point perspective, two point perspective or any other three, four, five point perspectives. But here in this case, a common picture that you must have seen is one point perspective. I will explain everything about it, but before that, before we continue, if you are new to this channel, hit that like button and please subscribe and share with your friends so that it helps YouTube algorithm to reach more people. So, welcome back. Like I said, it's going to be an easy one. It's one point perspective. Let's look at uh, the painting itself. So, this is... If you look at it, that's where the perspective one point is somewhere here or maybe a little bit outside my drawing area. All these lines are meeting. If you know perspective, very very important. If you have trouble perspective or if you feel that one of some of your drawings are actually not uh, looking exactly what it is supposed to look like, then um, um, you can actually enroll in my perspective course. I have explained everything. Every object is there. So that's one point perspective. All windows, doors, everything is pers uh, one point perspective. It's pen and wash. So I've used the waterproof pen. This is one of uh, the quickest uh, uh, drawing that uh, on painting that you can actually do it. Like I said, pen and wash is uh, uh, three things, color, highlight, shadows. But apart from that, if you're actually going towards urban sketching or otherwise even uh, 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 drawing in journal, perspective actually plays an important role so you need to know exactly what you are drawing not what you see so very important uh, that um, you understand that so here very simple color mixing main thing is shadows are mixed crimson and again uh, uh, ultramarine blue and light is from top left so shadows are on the other side and the shaded area of the wall is also with the same color i could have gone ahead with the second layer but i have left it as is so that at least i can differentiate between the front wall and the side wall and the flowers and uh, the plants in front are just uh, blotches of color you can actually you can see some of them actually even use if you don't want to stipple you just use toothbrush or just brush and then uh, shake the brush with the paint loaded with paint so that actually works as well so uh, try it out very easy if you have any reference cottages village uh, uh, road any path uh, even um, um, barn all of them work good because the last time was with the water even the seascape also worked good you just have to play with the color. So try it out and let me know how it goes. And then I'll see you in my next video.